All right there YouTube, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're gonna be working on my hopper bottom trailer. So I hooked up to this thing here the other day. Make sure we got it ready for spring fertilizer season here. I haven't used this trailer since last fall. I was really only expecting to just have to grease and wash this trailer to get it ready, but ended up finding a few problems with it. I had two wheel seals that were weeping a little bit. I went ahead and changed those out already. I've got a number of older videos on the channel on doing wheel seals, so I really didn't feel the need to do another one. Plus it was really windy that day, so it would have made it more difficult to record. Now I noticed when I had the center axle that has the leveling valve on it jacked up, it extended this bag a little bit further, and there's a pretty good tear in the bag underneath this bell here. It's not leaking. But with as busy as fertilizer season gets, I'd rather just go ahead and replace it now than have it blow out later. I remember one year during fertilizer season, I had crossed the border up the portal back into the United States about 4.30 in the morning. I went down to Lignite there and I parked in the back corner of the lot and I went to sleep. I couldn't have been asleep about 30, 45 minutes. All of a sudden I hear this loud bang and the whole truck shakes. I'm thinking, great, someone just backed into the truck, parked out in the back of the lot away from everybody else and somebody just had to pull in next to me and back into me and run into me. So I got out of bed, I got up, I got dressed, crawl up into the front of the cab to get out and talk to this Yahoo. And I pull the curtains back on the truck and there's nobody around. Nobody parked anywhere near me, nothing. So I just kind of scratched my head and crawled back in the bed and went back to sleep. I got up the next morning and I started doing my walk around and there was an airbag that was split all the way from the bottom to the top. That airbag blew out while I was parked there sleeping. Had a whole lot of fun out in the middle of nowhere. Extremely busy and short on sleep. But anyway, I wasn't going to record this repair either because I have done a couple of airbags on the channel very recently. But I was looking at this one and I'm going to attack this one slightly different, so I'm going to go ahead and record it. I was looking at this. Generally what I would do is I would place a jack stand or something to support the frame of the trailer and then I'd just dump the air suspension which would let all the air out of the bags. However, I really don't have any... This is probably the lowest point on this trailer that I could put a jack stand and that's fairly high off the ground. And so to do that I'd probably have to stack some blocks underneath the jack stand to get it to reach up high enough to support the frame of the trailer. That would be a little bit sketchy even by my standard so I'm going to do this another way which will also give you guys a solution for when you if you do blow an airbag on the road how you can get off the road to get that fixed. Alright so we're under the trailer here the top of the airbag you can see we got our airline here goes into a quick connect fitting and what we're going to want to do is disconnect this quick connect fitting, which so going to kink that over, we're going to put a zip tie on it. Now, as long as your airlines are in good shape, these will go right back to where they were without any damage to the line. However, however, if your airlines are old, hard, and dry, you could potentially damage your air hose doing this. But in that case, that air hose should probably be replaced anyway. But bend that over, kink it off, put a zip tie on it to hold it. And now our trailer is supported by all of our other airbags. And we've got no air in this airbag because it's not connected to anything. So anyway, we got these two nuts on top. Just got to zip them off. One nut on the bottom here. I'll try real quick, see if they come out or not. But if these fight me at all, I just cut them off. Who wants to reuse old rusty hardware anyway? Just cut them off, replace them. But we're trying to see if they come off. Now I probably will reuse this airline fitting, so we'll go ahead and take this off first. Now this is a pretty clean trailer, so... Ah, dang it. Now this is a pretty clean trailer, 
without really any rust on it. So we might actually have a shot of these nuts coming on. Now that doesn't normally happen, but at least not in this part of the country. But that did actually come apart, so that's nice. Alright, so now with the airbag removed, you can see that defect, why I'm replacing this bag right there. Alright, so we got this all prepped, ready to go back together. We got our new hardware here. We're going to reuse our fitting, so we've got some new pipe dope on that. I've got my plug installed in this end, this particular airbag. Both of these top studs go through into the airbag, so you install a plug on one side. Your airline fitting goes on the other. You do have to put your airline fitting on after because the nut doesn't fit over it. So we're going to do that. We've got anti seize on all of my studs. I think we're ready to shove this back in there. Alright, so now with the airbag in, go ahead and flip our zip tie. Reconnect our airline. So there you have it, another successful airbag install. Just a little twist on how I've shown it before, but pretty simple job. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe down below. Thank you. Have a great day.